All right, we're going to talk about dehydration synthesis and hydrolysis. And I'm going to go over really quickly an activity we did in class, and then we'll take some notes. So today in class, what I did is I gave students a glucose molecule. So glucose is a sugar, simple carbohydrate, and it's a hexagon. And you'll notice there's these H's and OH's that are kind of outlined on the outside. That's because in class, these were the removable pieces. So kids could remove these. And I told students, hey, I need you to connect these two hexagons together to make a disaccharide, two hexagons that are together. And so what they had to do is they had to remove this guy and this guy in order to connect them. And I'll show you that. And you can see they can connect just right here. So what happened when we connected them? Well, we had to get rid of an OH and an H. You'll notice the OH and the H, we can put those together. And when we put them together, <clears throat> what they end up making is water, H2O. So that's super important. In order to connect molecules, we have to take away water. If we take a look here, we can do the same thing with three molecules. We can connect them together, but we got to take out the H's and the OH's in the middle, and they can create two waters. So in order to connect three molecules, we're removing two waters. That's the basis of this whole idea of how we connect molecules, which is what we're talking about today. If you're in your notebook, your title can be Dehydration, Synthesis, and Hydrolysis, which those sound like big, scary words, but I promise they're not. <clears throat> In fact, you probably already know the word dehydration. When you don't get enough water, you get dehydrated. So dehydration is taking away water from the body. There's not enough in there. Synthesis means to make. We'll talk about that. Hydro, you see the word water in there as well. So we'll talk about all those different things. Here's a slightly different illustration. We see two glucose molecules. Glucose we know has six C's. 12 H's and 6 O's. So if we connect two together, what would we expect? We would expect to get 6 plus 6, 12 C's. 12 plus 12, 24 H's. 6 plus 6, 12 O's. Here's the problem though. This is what we would expect, 12, 24, and 12. We end up getting 12, 22, and 11. So what's missing? Well, Instead of 24 H's, we had 22, so two H's. We're missing one O. We're missing the water, which tells us that in order to connect molecules, we've got to remove water. So what is this process called? It's called dehydration, dehydrate to remove water, synthesis, which means to make. So we remove water in order to make a bigger molecule, to connect two molecules together. In this image down below, you see the OH and the H highlighted. These two molecules, this water, the H and the OH, are going to be removed so that we can connect them together. Now here's the deal. We can do the opposite as well. If I wanted to break apart molecules, what do you think I would have to do? I would have to add water. And this is called hydrolysis. Hydro means water. To lice something is to break it. So we add water to break down molecules. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, okay, is how do we calculate a chemical formula? So let's say I want to tell you, connect five glucose molecules. What's the formula going to be? How do we do that? Let's take a look. So I have all the steps here. The first thing we have to do, we have C6H12O6. That's our glucose. That's for one hexagon. So if I say I need you to connect six hexagons together, we have to take this formula, C6H12O6, and multiply it by six. What that means is each of these numbers has to be multiplied by six. So six times six is 36. 12 times six is 72. And six times six is 36. So this tells us how many C's, H's, and O's we're going to have. But remember, you told me we had to remove water. We always have to remove one less water 
than there are sugar molecules. In this instance, to connect three molecules, we had to remove two waters. So if I go back to this formula, we have to figure out how many waters are gonna be removed. There's always going to be one less water removed than the sugar. So I'm gonna say, all right, I gotta remove five waters. So I have to know what are those five waters gonna be then? So water is H2O. So I'm gonna multiply that by five. So I've got two H's, so two times five is 10. There's no number next to O, which means there's gonna be five. So H10O5. Now all I have to do is I take my sugars minus my waters to get my answer. So I've got C36 minus H10. Oh, yep, and H20, H72 minus H10, O36 minus O35. Here there's no Cs. So I'm just gonna keep that at 36. My H is 72 minus 10, so I'm gonna have 62, and my O's 36 minus five, so 31.